Well, I think that is a better time as any to sing the song, right? Right? <laughs> Going to sing the song. <laughs> I want you to show me your fantasy, your fantasy, your past and your future, and your future. That's what I need. That's what I need. The truth takes it over. We'll wait and see. Even I might. Blank out, you and me. I thought our dream to fly away. You take me higher, take me away. Whoa, whoa, oh, be my savior and take me away, away, away. Yeah, take me away. Take ten talk once more. You're hosting a magic show. I cannot escape. There's nothing else left for me to do. Going to the other side, other side. I don't wanna be alone tonight. Oh, leave me with your outer side. There's no one else left for me to lose. Heading to the other side, other side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's this. Um, so long day's journey in the night. Head to the polycar to join the navigation meeting. A new journey is about to begin. Pom Pom has stated in the group chat that they want to stress three things during this navigation meeting. Given that the conductor rarely leaves people in suspense. Perhaps you can mull over what they are thinking and play the role of the stern conductor, straight man, in the navigation meeting. Find a suitable place in the parlor car to wait for everyone to arrive. All right, let's go back to the parlor car. Time to head to the next stop. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. Right. Everyone is here. Well, for this specific time here, um, It's time. Pom Pom's not here yet. Mm. Doesn't seem so. <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Seems like it. Ahem. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. All right. So um So what came up? Yeah. What was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of festivities. Panacone. Yay. <laughs> also, welcome everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh Forever Essen here and we are well Fast approaching, well, the new path in our journey in Hontai Star Rail, which is, as Pom Pom just said, the planet festivities, Penacone. So yeah, if you <laughs> haven't done so yet, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more updates and more videos from me for Hontai Star Rail. All right, now. Back to the preparations. Also, wildfire in the background. Fire as it is. I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous cellar hotel. But before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. Right, what are they? First, Penacone is located in Azana. 
Asana. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, wait, wait. So, Asdana... A star, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zoids. Memory zone. Zoids. <laughs> Right. Okay. So Memoria is <laughs> well makes everyone feel a little bit uh, dizzy. Yeah. Okay. Or having every any other symptoms it seems. Second, is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the right. first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. First time, eh? Sure. We are people of courtesy and we do not want to mess things up with the Harmony family. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. <laughs> we definitely won't. Rome? Uh, anyway. Third Rome. and final. Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. A favor? While you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Uh, are we getting new crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. Uh, tell me, please. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penaconi is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Mm -hmm. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison. Oh, that's right. That connected it to thousands of stars. Right. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penaconi. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penaconi their permanent home. Hmm. Um, uh... Who could be this important? Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penaconi's ownership switched hands several times. Right. How did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Yes. Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? Alright. According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina. The Express's guard, mechanic, Tiernan, and Surveyor, Legwork, and Rosalina. No supplementary details are available. Wait. According to the passenger list, uh, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina. Which is quite close to Rosalyn, Rosaline in uh, Genshin Impact, but alright. It's Press's Guard, Mechanic, and Surveyor, respectively. It's Press's Guard, Tiernan, the Mechanic, Legwork, and uh, Rosalina, the Surveyor. No supplementary details are available. Alright. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the nameless's diversity, uh -huh. perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. Oh yeah. Broadcast an announcement before we jump. 
Okay. There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Of course it's going to be this song. <laughs> Did the journey. There's still some time before... Well, I'll listen to the news broadcast first because this is the optional part. Tell me. The IPC and the Sienjo Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. Nice, nice, nice. The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, Alan Jones. personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert I. The ruins rank as a category Omega site on the Potential Disaster Index. Okay. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony. <laughs> Robin? Nice. The Garden of Recollection has gathered memoria fragments from the lost world of Moonshield. Moonshield. Precious memories of this world will not be forgotten. Okay. Let's take a closer look at the details. Regarding the IPC and the Sienjo Alliance, the Sienjo La Fu has opted to renew the trade agreement. Seems like it, yeah. The agreement will help to open up markets and promote cooperation between the two sides in agriculture, industry, medicine, and culture, laying a solid foundation for a free, open, and prosperous business environment. At the signing of the agreement, friendly talks were held between Madame Yukong, Skyfaring Helmmaster of the mm -hmm. Lafu, and a representative of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The two sides reached a consensus on various issues, including the impact of interstellar security on the free market. The IPC also expressed their heartfelt concern for the Lawfu regarding the recent invasion by the Antimatter Legion and sent their condolences to the victims. The IPC strongly condemns the barbaric atrocities committed by the Antimatter Legion and conveys the Amber Lord's wish for preservation to all worlds ravaged by that wretched force. Yeah. The Antimatter Legion. Emperor Rupert I left many horrific relics across the universe, and one of them, the Mechanical Emperor Tomb, Mechanical has Emperor Tomb. the interests of countless people since its discovery. Hmm. The excavation of the tomb is led by the head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Drake One-Armed Jones, with assistance from Genius Society member Skrulum. Skrulum? Oh. Alan oh. Drake Jones. It is hoped that the oh. excavation of this a category Omega ranking on the potential disaster index will provide a mega. light on its mysterious nature. Right. According to records of the Emperor's deeds left behind by the Inorganic Legion, the original purpose of the site was to house the inventions inspired by the imagination of Rupert I. Imagination. Right. A spokesperson for the Intelligentsia Guild said, We have no way of knowing what amazing discoveries Jones will uncover, but we are hopeful that his findings will further our understanding of the Emperor and help save the universe from the horrors that he will bring with him when he returns. Yes. The Interastral Peace broadcast will be covering this story throughout the excavation. Penacone. The planet of festivities. Okay, here we go. That it will invite renowned singer Robin to perform at the Charmony Festival. Charmony Festival. Mm -hmm. Once every Amber Era, countless followers of the Harmony will attend this long held tradition of the planet of festivities and together pray for a brighter and better future for the universe. Robin is a superstar whose voice is known throughout the cosmos. She has been the recipient of many top awards. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> it is believed that during the celebrations, 
Robin will sing a hymn for the Eon of the Harmony in the name of the family. A hymn for the he for the Eon of the Harmony. Aha is elation, right? As we all know, the Garden of Recollection has always been committed to the restoration of lost civilizations, igniting the spark of revival across the cosmos. Right. According to reliable sources, thanks to the efforts of the memo keepers, all memoria fragments of the dead world of Moonshield have been salvaged. Hmm. Moonshield was destroyed Moonshield. during an invasion by the Antimatter Legion. <laughs> With the combined right. efforts of the IPC and the Garden of Remembrance, the collection of information about the fallen world was recently declared a success. Nice. The memo keepers plan for it to be reborn in the pristine land of the remembrance. The destruction can destroy any material thing, but it can never take away our hope. The IPC will provide whatever support and protection within its means for the long-term development of all civilizations across the universe, including those that have perished. Hmm. And this yeah. is the end of our broadcast. Please tune in for our next episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you. All right, let's talk to Welt. How's it going? All packed and ready? Yeah, I think. There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Yen, you seem disappointed. Of course not. Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. True. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. Yeah. The conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Right. That makes one. Um. Imitro? You're the picture of calm as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar <laughs> Yeah. I mean, <laughs> of course, I'm the mature adult type. Yeah, I'm excited too. I trust Penagoni won't let you all down. Well, I trust it wouldn't. But regarding the family's invitation, mm -hmm. I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Family's invitation. All right, thank you, Imitro. Wait, can they, can we talk to them again? Let's enjoy ourselves first. Of course, let's not forget Pom Pom's request either. Right. Uh, what if I talk to her again? Let's enjoy ourselves first. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> what if I talk to Wilt again? Rest and recuperation aside. Don't forget Pom Pom's request. Mm -hmm. The conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Right. So, don't forget Pom Pom's requests. Right. Let's go to the passenger cabin and see Don Hound on March 7th. Okay, so Don Hound, are you ready, my boy? I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the express this time. Oh, really? I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. You're not coming? Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. And <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the express. Sure. Pay no mind to the matters concerning this Yenjo. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. Yeah. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, I'd advise double-checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. <laughs> okay. Um, try not to, to him again? 
Is it Jen? I'd advise double checking your bags. Oh, okay, okay. So, so this is the same thing. Well, let's start to march. Hey, march. March? March. Are you excited? Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I, just, I should stop dodging. Camera, check. Extra clothes, check. Toiletries. Check. Aw, Drad. The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. <laughs> right. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? Not too much, obviously. <laughs> uh, it hit me. <laughs> um, what if what if you teach you pom pom toy? It's too big. No way it's going to to fit. But hey, why why not? My pom pom toy? Not a bad idea. That's kind of like bringing the conductor on vacay with me. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's too big to fit in the case. <laughs> That's true. Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? Food. It's about time. I should find a seat. Yeah, but. Aw, this is hard. Right, I should find a seat. It's time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> what? 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 No, 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 no. Shush. Um. Oh no, I'm right. On your way to Penetroni, you receive a tablet in your inbox. May be worth examining to see if there's any noteworthy news. Okay, so. Sides all happenings. News flash. Hottest groups. And job postings. The festival invitation claim. Um. Oh, claim this. Let's see. Uh, wow, five five thousand. Huh? All right, lads and ladies around the world, I think it's time. It's time to savor this trip. Why is it? Oh, right. Thanks. Uh, delete. Delete this. <laughs> All right. Well, it is time. Rest. Oh, yeah, I'm hearing you, Pom Pom. Right. Let's go. The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, what? <laughs> what is going on? What? What? Memoria? Am I stuck somewhere? <laughs> Not another one. What do you mean, not another one? What did I do? Uh, 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 Who are you first? These questions have no meaning. But I will answer you as best as I can. Right. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. A dreamscape. Dreamscape. Right. 
right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Ye yeah. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Hmm. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. R right? <laughs> Sh uh, sure. Um, whatever you Left say. The end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Yeah, yeah, but let me, um, what is this? Can I even search? The dream stage, she said. Wow. Look at that. Look at the fire in the hearth. Alita. <laughs> um. Uh. So you said left, but I want to go right. Can I? Look, look, at, look at the whales there. I'm not there. Turn back. Right, right. Sorry, sorry. I just wanted to explore. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You yeah. can call me whatever you want. My, well, I want to call you Acheron, so. I will call you Atron. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. Mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, I can still remember. This is no way. What? Oh. This way. Well, she takes shots. It seems. After you. What? What do you? What? What do you mean after you? What is going on? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. <sighs> okay. Am I supposed to? How is this even? How is it possible? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> What do you mean, why not? Can hear the thoughts in my head? <laughs> why not? <laughs> okay. Um, clearly, clearly, this, um, <laughs> this is so trippy. This is so trippy. Oh, it is. We're almost there. Can you still walk? Yeah, I mean, I can. Now I have become Trailblaze, the perambulator of walls. You're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Oh, Acheron. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. Yeah, just look straight. Also, is it me or do I see Sunday there? And... Um, wait, there are some people. These voices, they are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Uh, really? I just want to listen, though. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. So... So there was Silver Wolf, Silver Wolf, guy next to next to her. I, I don't think I know. Sure. Is that Doctor Ratio? And wait, is that Venturine? Ah, the 
a charming audacity to think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gambler. <laughs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to meet, well, in the dreamscape, a lot of, lots of people, new people. Venturine, uh, that's the one. And I know that because I watched the uh, White Knight uh, song, I mean, music video. Who's that? The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Hmm. Don't look up or down or left or right for that matter. Is there anything else? Seems we're here. Ooh. Who's that? Oh, Black Swan and Sparkle? Do you think you can just sleep? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice. I've already chosen. And who is it? It's me. <laughs> Alright, Atron. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what the perception. Wow. Okay. Hey. We're here. Yeah, I know we're here, but uh what should I do about that? Open door? All right. Welcome to the reverie. May uh you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. So this is Misha. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. Um, will I see you again, though? Before you do, mm -hmm. I would make a request of you. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Mm -hmm. Have we met somewhere before? Have we met somewhere before? Wait, why, why is the text red? What's going on? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. Hmm. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Right. Okay. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Yes, they are. Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Oh, yes I did. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Uh, it means that I will disappear. Yeah. Hmm. Then, 
If there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. Right. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? I would never want to live in a dream. Yeah. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. <laughs> if you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I would abandon it, the price is too dear, I would abandon it, I have already tasted the beauty of dreams. I would abandon it, trailblazing was never my intent, I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I know this is hard, you don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. <laughs> Hearing, touch thought through these you gain emotions cherish them with emotions we make choices and so we return to the original question i would ask do you still remember me i seem to remember you from somewhere Understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. <laughs> you mean the, that was the options? Question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. We'll meet again. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answer. What? What? She was crying. Yeah, and he's crying too. Now what the hell is this? Whoa. Galaxy Rangers. What's wrong? Why are you crying all of a sudden? I don't know. Um... I may have dreamed on an old friend. Sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Espana and already. Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Uh, it seems like it, yeah. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pentaconi. Can you imagine? 
Yesterday's grim frontier Whoa. prison. Seems like it. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Sure. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. <laughs> Is March 7th still packing her luggage? Uh, well, that was um interesting development. Got two two achievements here. At the outset of, our, of your journey, you will you find yourself accompanied by someone unexpected. Do you remember me? Encounter Atron in a strange dreamland. Jack of all trades, walk onto the bubble bridges and the dream water ability for the first time. Um. Now that. Alright. Okay, well. Let's go! Let's see if uh, March has done any, everything here. Oh, she's here. Okay, outside though. Okay, March! <laughs> You're up? Yes, I, I am. Thank you, March. You're considerate. Shall we go meet up with them now? We shall. Penacony, the planet of festivities, the universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, with the this little dream I had, I don't know. It seems like uh, this fe those festivities uh, will be short-lived. Look at that! Wow. <laughs> well, we're here at last. Well, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. Yeah. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. <laughs> yeah, uh, thankfully they didn't. Yeah, it's huge. They're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. Yeah, and remember that this was once a prison. A brand new destination has opened to us, and I feel quite happy about it. And here is Misha, because uh <laughs> Isn't that a samsara? <laughs> Am I having hallucinations? Uh, it's the child from the dream. Yeah. What dream? Uh, Misha, a oh. bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage. Uh, over here. Something's not right. Something's not right. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room? Feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Right, thank you, Misha. <laughs> We're here. Um. Okay, um, Misha? Welcome to the Reverie. May you have an unforgettable holiday. <clears throat> Should you need assistance with moving your luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Right, thank you. Uh, I hear this hotel is pretty unique. Uh, yeah, it is. The Reverie does not only provide accommodation for its guests, it is also connected to both Panacone's reality and dreamscape. 
Guests from all over the cosmos come here to immerse themselves in a marvelous, dreamy journey. Hmm. Aren't dreams fake? A good question. Maybe not all dreams are false. Well, at least the ones in Pentaconi aren't. Or perhaps should I say they are... Uh, another reality? Mm hmm I see. Won't I get tired out from all that dreaming, though? The hotel's dream pool provides a comfortable dream experience, so don't you worry about that. Uh, how is it working here? Uh, uh, are you asking me? Yes, I do. Uh, hmm. Well, it's not too bad. Many guests come and go, and I get to hear all about their adventures. Nice. I see, got it. You'll know what I mean when you enter a dream. Penaconi will not disappoint. So Penaconi is? Yes. This hotel is Penaconi in real life. And the Penaconi in the dream is a place where miracles are born. Miracles are born. Lavish joy. A grand banquet where the curtains never fall. Uh, it's hard to describe its magnificence in words. In any case, you will surely be odd. I can't wait. I hear the family held a grand event. Ah, you are well informed indeed. It is an opportunity provided by the family and a tradition on the planet of festivities. Everyone gathers in the hall. Reveling in merriment, pursuing opportunities, staking all they have on one desperate gamble. And finally, their dreams become reality. Wow. Um, I have nothing else to ask then. May you have a pleasant stay in Pentecost. You're you are quite welcome, and I am quite excited. Um But yeah, this is our first waypoint, it seems. So, <laughs> I think, lads and ladies around the world, that this is a good place as any to uh, stop it, stop the stream. Or maybe, maybe I should just, you know, go to the chat and just. To be sure that nothing is uh, too bad. Let's have a look. Running late again. This is it's our first. Fate. This is our first treasure of the day. It seems strange plant. However, due to the lack of sunlight, the growth of this pot can only be considered passable at best. Investigate. Do you want to try the taste of Pocho Soul Glad? Hurry toward the Golden Hour. The Golden Hour. Running late again. Um, alright. Why is it detecting life forms inside the luggage? <laughs> I heard a big star is coming soon. Sure, Robin. I'm taller than the base. And I, another chest here. Out of safety considerations. Alright, well. What would it be like in the dream? I don't know. <laughs> Sufficient credit card limit? Ah, uh, yikes. Going into the dream tonight? Well, if you're tired in real life, then uh, 
will be a bit too difficult for you to wander around, seems. So this is the end over there, and this is an elevator it seems, but I'm not going to use it for now. Vestigate. Machine that can automatically complete the check-in process, however, as it can be a pain to operate, must just prefer the manual approach. Alrighty. Anything is possible within a dream. Do you feel look like Clotty? So the, yeah, this Clotty, this is uh, the new mascot, it seems. We have Pom Pom. And they have Clotchy. <laughs> Alright, well. We got four chests out of 16. Not going to spoil myself or anything. Just going to move here and watch as it happens. I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. How come? I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. Yeah. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and, and? Mr. Don Hung. Oh. These what? are the only four names on the reservation list. Uh, what? 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 What about me? <laughs> and yes, I missed the Don Hong reporting for duty. What's going on? We've run into some trouble. Your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. Oh, really? I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. <laughs> Something came up in Don Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... <laughs> um... Show Arthur's lands? Okay, someone is coming in. Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Event. Antigone's most important moment of every era. Eventually. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Look at the size, though. Oh, wow. Security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change. It really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. So what do we, what should we do? We're sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? Eventrine. I am the humble Eventrine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. A non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. Diamond. I was cordially invited by the Watchmaker. The Watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave it to me. Quite a way to make a scene. That the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. 
Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? <laughs> I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? It yeah. must be an inordinate number. Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. Ooh. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves feature. comfortable in Penacony before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that... If I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <sighs> but... What you said in the second half. I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. <laughs> Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you have put it this way. So about the vouching. Pretty full himself. <laughs> there you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Ooh. The most handsome man in Pentagon. Sunday. Oh, the singer renowned across the universe. So she is Robin, yes. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentagon. How interesting. <laughs> Kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? You're. Yeah, Robin. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you the. Robin? Yes. Yeah, she, uh, yeah. A cutie. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penaconi like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penaconi is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. Robin. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penaconi. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Well, thank you, Sunday. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. 
On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, the actual administrators? relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May our dreams be beautiful and pleasant. <laughs> I don't know. Seems a bit shifty. Sunday. <laughs> Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally. It seems like it, yeah. Uh, uh, I hope we don't run into any more troubles. How does the saying go? Trouble comes in pairs? Uh, I don't know. There is also the saying, from misfortune comes bliss. That's true. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. Let's go find her. Hopefully now we can get a uh, reservation started. Hello, Allie. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. <sighs> Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. Yeah, she seems uh, beyond interest. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves okay. as a hotel room key. As well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. Okay. It even provides smart assistance. Nice. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special one of a kind souvenir that belongs only to you. I'll be sure to keep it safe. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream, save your favorite happy bits, and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. <laughs> Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. Okay. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. Alright! Let's move out! Let's move out. The Dreamscape Pass. Dreamscape scrapbook received by every guest staying at the Reverie. Once the check-in at the front desk is completed, this program will automatically appear on the guest's communication device. No one knows whether this is an infringement of personnel privacy, or personal privacy, or and no one has ever asked. So, actually it's safe enough and interesting enough as well. 2,300,000 five-star reviews. The family guarantees that there are no fake reviews. Okay. You received the Dreamscape Pass from the hotel reception. Open it and take your lunch. The Dreamscape Pass is an application automatically installed on your phones. Tap here to open it. Invitation Dear Dream Chaser, welcome to Penetroni. From the moment you set foot in the reverie, a splendid and dream light journey had already lifted its curtains. It is not easy to put down the hustle and bustle of real life, and extraordinary courage is also needed to make the choice to full-heartedly embrace the dream. We have the confidence to promise that, thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and melodious tunes await to your head. Keep you in. Dream Advisory Before you officially enter the dream using the dream pool, please make sure you have already read the Dream Advisory. 1. Maintain a calm mind. I'm sure, I'm quite sure that this is going to be important. Maintain a calm mind. Intense emotional fluctuations may cause unexpected sensations when entering the dream, such as the sensation of falling, weightlessness, or pain. 2. Please enter the dream lying on your back. Please do not attempt to enter the dream while facing down, kneeling, 
or other positions. This will minimize the risk of drowning. 3. Please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. Uh, the dreaming fluid in the dream pool is already a fast-acting sedative and does not need any, any more external pharmaceutical assistance. If you do not enter the dreams despite having soaked in the liquid for a long time, please contact the hotel staff. 4. Please do not enter the dream naked. Your initial appearance in the industry is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you have ensured that you are pro appropriately dressed. 5. Uh, please do not assume the identity of another individual. The family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attach, or defame other guests in the dream. 6. On behalf of the Oak, Alf Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. Guest Notice dream, Dear Dream Chaser, During this present period, the Reverie Old Hotel in the Golden Hour Dreamscape is undergoing renovations. If you opt to enter the Golden Hour, you will still wake up in the hotel in the Dreamscape. However, you will be unable to leave the room and to not use the hotel's regular services. We have designated a temporary process to enter the dream for guests, so that you may successfully land in the golden hour. New handbook hand page unlocked. The Reverie. More handbook pages will be unlocked as you progress for the Trailblaze mission. Record everything you encounter on these pages. Another thrilling trailblazing expedition is about to begin. The start of this adventure does not take place upon white sheets of snow nor the imperious heights of the Sienjo. Aside from the riddle sitting men and women, all seem to be well. Speaking of, it appears no one has asked you a certain question. What kind of trip do you enjoy? Select and record your current feelings of uh, your opinion about the story. Um, what kind of trip do you enjoy? Mm. Straight toward local source destination. Thank you for using the recording function of your Dreamscape Pass. Uh, in each thrilling journey, you always speed toward the local site with the greatest renown. Uh, yeah, renown. What a commendable go-getter you are. Traveling you with you must be an experience full of adventures and excitement. Though, come to think of it, your world might then clash with March 7th. Maybe you should reconsider your personal purpose and make yourself a man that offers nobility as their worth. You can decorate the pages of your handbook with collected stitches. During your exploration of Penacone, you will come across various stitches for collections. Okay, use Stitcher. Adventuring. No world is born prosperous, just like we are all born with nothing to our name. A silent, a silent burn remains free, or can at least still fly. The beginning of someone's cycle marks the end of another person's. Okay. Quite eventful. Uh, can I talk to you, Dennis? Greetings, esteemed guests. I'm Dennis, the lobby manager of this hotel. It is a pleasure to meet you. How can I assist you today? What services do you provide? 
As a lobby manager, it's my responsibility to attend to the guests' needs and help them resolve their issues. Since you are new here, I assume you are not familiar with the hotel. Please allow me to offer some... Okay, well, I have to stop this. Um, if you need assistance for room cell related services, please... Wait, I think I can see. Since you are new, new here, I assume you are not familiar with the hotel. Please allow me to offer some suggestions. Uh, please choose either the manual service at the receptionist desk or the cell service terminal in the lobby. For questions about entering the dream, please feel free to ask Giovanna, the chief dream nurse. Giovanna, okay. In case of disputes with a guest or hotel staff, please seek assistance from Koti, the head of security. The public dream phone in the lobby allow allows you to make a quick call to any moment without entering the dreamscape. Much obliged. You're welcome, I'm just doing my job. If you need more details, please make good use of your dreamscape pass. May you will have fun and enjoy your stay in the city of dreams. What services do you provide? Uh, uh, also, here's a small pro tip. Make the most of your dreamscape pass, as it will greatly enrich your dream experience in Pinacroni. Dear guest, how may I be of service? Nothing else, thank you. Certainly, I'm also may you have fun and enjoy your stay in the city of dreams. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, as in ladies around the world, this has been it for this session of Hauntai Star Oil. Uh, there might be another, another uh, session on Thursday. I'm just going mm -hmm. to reschedule. Just going to reschedule my Genshin Impact uh, stream on for Wednesday, which means tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you had a great time with me, and this will obviously be uploaded to YouTube uh, when I can. But yeah, that's that's been all for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys.